Former President Donald Trump was in a rage following the release of details of special counsel Jack Smith's case against him. That's right. On Wednesday, Judge Tanya Chutkin unsealed the document despite objections from Trump's lawyers who argued that Smith was just trying to unfairly influence the 2024 election with the case that he had been working on for quite some time that had been delayed by Trump's own actions. Hmm. Uh, now, Smith argued in his filing, which complains, uh, 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 contains plenty of redactions, was appropriate considering how it's in the public interest. You know, the guy could be president again, and he's been charged with crimes, pretty serious crimes. Seems like that could be important just a little bit. I mean, sure, you can still vote for the criminal, but it might be nice to know the extent of his alleged crimes, which again has to do with election subversion. Um, and this is that case. Now, in his filing, Smith argues that Trump can still be tried on election interference charges as he had acted at a, as a private citizen seeking personal gain and not as a U.S. official seeking to protect the integrity of national elections. Hmm. Uh, in fact, here's what uh, Smith wrote. When the defendant lost the 2020 presidential election, he resorted to crimes to try to stay in office. With private co-conspirators, the defendant launched a series of increasingly desperate plans to overturn the legitimate election results. The through line of these efforts was deceit. Ooh. So now I know what Smith is doing is he is uh, basically had to take some time to try to sidestep the Supreme Court's immunity ruling. That's why it says, hey, he is, uh, you know, not, he, he was not doing this as part of his official duties in office. No. And here's the evidence that we have that shows that so that it's not just official acts okay so now in the filing he reveals some new evidence hmm, to help this case uh for example trump's plan all along as he told multiple advisors the motion states was that he would simply declare victory before all the ballots were counted and that any winner was projected that kind of tells you that um he was planning on just declaring himself the winner anyway <laughs> i mean that's exactly what it's saying there uh, now, then you add uh, this, P15, uh, this part of the redactions here, which is, who is a Trump operative who was the assistant to the president and director of Oval Office operations, told investigators that he had witnessed Trump making an unprompted comment to his family members, most likely Melania, uh, Ivanka, uh, Jared Kushner, saying, quote, it doesn't matter if you won or lost the election, you still have to fight like hell. Interesting to see the context on that one. Uh, speaking of fighting, uh, P5, who's described as campaign employee, agent, and co-conspirator of Trump, responded to a colleague's mention of the Brooks Brothers riot, which was a group of Republican operatives who had attempted to disrupt the, 20, the, the 2000 vote count in Florida, where Republicans stole the election from Al Gore. Uh, okay, but the, uh, uh, come on, hanging chads? Come on. Uh, now, he uh, this operative suggested similar unrest might occur at a location in Detroit, Michigan, where the votes were being counted. According to the motion, P5 had replied, quote, make them riot, do it. Hmm. Hmm, yeah, just uh, causing, some, causing some chaos here. Yeah. Uh, another senior Trump campaign advisor actually pushed back on the election fraud claims uh, and called it, quote, conspiracy shit. Beam down from the mothership, <laughs> which uh, I love. It is an alien force, not of this world. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> it's not human intelligence. But it's actually not intelligence at all. <laughs> okay, beam down from the mothership of crazy. Um, he also referred to the lawyers who were pushing Trump's legal cases in court as, quote, the Star Wars bar. Meaning, of course, that that bar in uh, Tatooine where you had all the weird aliens uh, in there. <laughs> now, funny enough, uh, those weird aliens uh, are Rudy Giuliani, Jenna Ellis, Sidney Powell, and others. That's who he was referring to as the Star Wars bar. Okay. Uh, now, there's another thing in this filing, uh, which alleges that the Trump campaign literally just would make up numbers of alleged illegal immigrants who voted and dead people. Now, uh, of course, that didn't really happen. 
In fact, you had a text from then Chief of Staff Mark Meadows who acknowledged this claim uh, of, for example, it's a specific claim of 10,000 dead people uh, that voted, allegedly. Now, Mark Meadows is like, yeah, no, that was wrong. <laughs> That's completely wrong. No, the actual number that they found was 12. And that because it's 12, it was not outcome determinative. Okay. And so likely just an error. So yeah, there's that. Uh, now there's more. Trump also wanted then RNC chair Ronna McDaniel to pr uh, promote a report accusing Dominion voting machines of being manipulated in a Michigan county. McDaniel had refused, telling Trump that she had discussed this report with Michigan's Speaker of the House. And his exact assessment was that the report was, quote unquote, effing nuts. Mm, fun. The report also mentions uh, how Pence was pressured over and over by Trump to block the certification of the election. Pence had initially gradually and gently tried to convince Trump over and over again to try to ex have Trump accept the results of the election, even if it meant they lost the motion states, <clears throat> despite Pence's repeated efforts of, hey, oh, don't, don't worry. Look, I know it's disappointing. Like, the, basically talking to Trump as if he's like a child, because he, he kind of is. He's got the mentality of a child. Oh, don't worry, champ. You know, we didn't get him this time, but we can get him in 24. You know what I'm saying? You, you can always run again. It's okay. You know, it's it's okay, Donnie boy. You're going to be all right. It, it just sometimes it just doesn't work out in our favor, you know? And, and Trump was like, oh, 2024, it's so far away. And of course, he's running. It's 2024. Uh, now, despite Pence's repeated efforts, Trump had disregarded Pence as well as the dozens of court decisions that unanimously rejected his and his allies' legal claims and the elected officials, including Republicans, in the targeted states. Not only that, Trump, of course, had gotten mad uh, that Pence was saying, hey, you lost. Trump eventually scolded Pence that if he didn't go along with their scheme to thwart the election certification, hundreds of thousands of people are going to hate your guts. Huh. Oh, interesting kind of a, you know, a, a, a bit of a, I guess, lead up to what happened on January 6th, where you had MAGA people chanting, hang Mike Pence. They weren't chanting, hang my pants. No, hang Mike Pence. Okay. Very serious. And speaking of Pence, uh, when that happened, Trump was alone in the dining room when he had posted about this, posted about Pence not having the courage to help him overturn the election, which got read during the Capitol riots. Facts, uh, a Fox News broadcast had already reported that the riot was ongoing at the time. He was watching it with the Capitol breached and on lockdown when he sent that tweet. He was watching it on Fox News, watching the riot happen, and was still egging on the crowd. He knew Pence was in danger, didn't give a damn. And now, of course, this backs up previously reported statements. For example, uh, Trump aide telling federal investigators that the ex-president responded, quote, so what, when he was informed that Vice President, then Vice President Mike Pence, had been rushed to a secure location by Secret Service because, you know, his tweet was encouraging people to hang his vice president. So, yeah, that's just some of the new filings, uh, new findings that are in this filing, okay? Uh, but there's more. That said, Trump did not take the news well. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, in fact, he takes to truth, truth, central, and writes this in all caps. Whether now the fully debunked Russia, 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 Iran, 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 Ukraine, 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 51 intelligence assets spying on my campaign, impeachment hoax number one, impeachment hoax number two, or any of the other scams, this illegal action taken by the Justice Department, including their raid on Mar-a-Lago for a case that was dismissed. Well, and just like all the others, a complete victory for President Donald J. Trump. Make America great again. He then followed it up by this. The release of this falsehood-ridden, unconstitutional J6 brief immediately following Tim Waltz's disastrous debate performance in 33 days before the most important election in the history of our country is another obvious attempt by the Harris-Biden regime 
to undermine and weaponize American democracy and interfere in the 2024 presidential election. Deranged Jack Smith, the handpicked prosecutor of the Harris-Biden DOJ in Washington, D.C., based radical left Democrats are hell-bent on continuing to weaponize the Justice Department in an attempt to clean the power. Trump is dominating the election cycle, leading in the polls, and the radical Democrats throughout the deep state are totally freaking out. This entire case is just a partisan, unconstitutional witch hunt. It should be dismissed entirely, just like the Florida case was dismissed. So that was about the documents that you stole from the White House. And by the way, the reason that that Florida case was dismissed is because the judge was literally your hand-picked judge. Yeah. So you, you put her on the bench. <laughs> she had no experience. But sure, no, no, no. Yeah, no, that, that was totally fair. And everything else isn't. And, and on this, our, our deep state's just freaking out because uh, Tim Walz is not a, the best debater. And, and here's the thing, though, about Tim Walz, right? So it, it's hard to be, uh, I should say, it's easier to be a good debater when you can just lie, like J.D. Vance did, okay? When you can just look at a camera and unabashedly lie all the time. Yeah, yeah, I guess that would make you a good debater um, if you have no ties to the truth whatsoever. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's a little bit harder you know, to actually argue in good faith and stick to the facts. But like I said, um, J.D. Vance, not interested in that. But anyway, has nothing to do with that debate. Nothing to do with that at all. <laughs> no, 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 no. Smith was going to bring this case anyway, even before the debate. Uh, he just had to refile it because of the Trump handpicked MAGA Supreme Court Gave him, gave him immunity for, quote-unquote, official acts. So it, it kind of feels like, at the end of the day, that the freakout is Trump's. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, subscribe, hit the bell icon in order to get notified whenever a new video is released. And if you want to support independent, progressive media through this difficult time where it seems like everybody is shut down, you can become a member on our YouTube page, become a subscriber on Facebook, or you can go to my Patreon. It's patreon.com slash Jeff Waldorf. Thank you.